Hello and welcome to Active Floor video course. My name is Sasha and in this video I will show you how to make a memory game. You start by logging into your My Floor, like I did. Go to My Games. To add a new game, press the plus sign in this corner. Now you see all the different game templates that you can make your content in. In this case, we want to make a memory game. So I will press the memory icon. Under each game, you'll find a description on how the game works. In a memory game, you have to try to find the matching pairs by turning the cards. To make a pair, press the plus sign in this corner. The content of the card can be an image, a sound, or a text. You can combine it across the elements or you can also combine it image to image, sound to sound and text to text. I will show you three different ways to do this. First, I would like to make a pair where I combine an image to an image. So I start by pressing the image button in order to upload an image. I will choose this one. Here you can crop your image to make it fit the content that you would like to show on your card. The wide area will be shown on your card if you press the send button now. You could also crop the image like this. Now this area is the one that will be shown on your card. When you're satisfied you press the send button. So now this is your image. I would like to make a traditional memory pair, so combining this image with the identical image. So instead of uploading the same image and cropping it like I just did, I just make a shortcut pressing this button right here, identical pair. So now this is my pair. When I'm satisfied, I press create pair. A pair could also consist of an image and a text. To make another pair, I will press the plus button again. Now I want to upload an image. I will use the same one as before. Now I'm going to crop out the T and the tiger, only showing the illustration of the tiger like this and now this is my image and on this card I'm going to write tiger. You can style your text by making the text larger or smaller. You could also change the font type and you can also change the color of the text so I'm just choosing an orange one. So now this is my pair, a tiger and the text tiger. When I'm satisfied I click create pair. A pair could also consist of a sound. To make another pair I press the plus sign and then I'm going to write tiger making my text larger and changing it also changing the color like that and on this card I'm going to upload and sound I got a sound of a tiger <laughs> So now this is a sound and to make my card a little bit more interesting I'm also going to upload an image like the ear here. You see the image is black that's because my image background is transparent and the ear was black so to make sure that my image is shown I will use the maximum size press send and now you see the image. So tiger and the sound of a tiger 
is my pair. When I'm satisfied, I click Create Pair. Before you publish your game, you can set the settings on how you want your game to look and how you want your game to interact. You do that by pressing this button right here. Now you see a preview of how your game is going to look. So this is just a default skin. You could also choose the unicorn skin or the death stone skin. We are creating skins as we speak. So you may have a lot more skins than I have here. I would like to use the default skin. You could also set the time to how long you want to show the content. If you got a long text or a long math question, then the time should be a little bit higher. So you need more time in order to read the text on the card. In this case, it's pretty easy, so I will just set it a standard. If you turn on this button, you will turn on a setting that's called Content is always shown. That means that the back of the card won't be shown. You will see the content on the cards all the time. You could also turn on that you want two cards to be picked simultaneously in order for the cards to turn. So if you pick this one and this one, they will turn at the same time. I would like to use the standard settings. So I want my cards to turn when chosen and I want to show the content of my card when chosen. My cards will be showed in three seconds and I will use the default skin. When I'm satisfied, I click the submit button. In order to make your game public, you have to change the title, the description and the icon. You do that by clicking this pencil. I've made another video where I show you how to make your icons and your settings. You'll find it in our video list. I hope this video helps you on how to make a memory game.